Hi farmers, my name is uh, Eric Sipestaf uh, on Insect Program. And in today's episode, I'll be taking you through on the waste sourcing and processing. How to plan on uh, your storage of waste, you need to have containers, cylindrical bins and rectangular bins. And also make sure that you have enough logistic. The waste that is so far we have tested are market waste, chicken waste, restaurant waste, vegetable waste, breweries waste. that are with a very high value in nutrients. When you are picking one of them, you need to make sure that it will be reliable and sustainable. Make sure that waste doesn't have raw material or foreign material that will uh, make lavi not to thrive through. Make sure that the storage doesn't have any rodents, because rodents can also invade into your waste. Vector carriers can also affect or contaminate your waste with the diseases or parasites. The example of parasites we have experienced here in our colony are like mites. Mites like a, a very moist environment. Another aspect you need to look into is how these nutrients will be kept intact, whereby you don't need to keep this waste for long. And also when you are storing it, uh, you need to make sure that they are not rained on. Because when, it when it's rained on, all the nutrients will be swept with water and that will be a loss. You will be just feeding the larvae uh, a saturated matter which doesn't have any nutrients. That's how we source waste and store it. Now we are going into a break. When we come back, we'll be talking about pre-processing of waste, whereby we receive the waste from the foreign waste so that it gets ready for the larvae to thrive through. Also for the dry waste, we dissolve in water to be moist. See you then. Welcome back. Before the break, we talked about uh, how to store the raw material, which uh, is common known as substrate. Uh, at this point, I want to talk about pre-processing of raw material from the source. What do you do? On the processing, you need to use a, a sack where it will help you to dewater the waste, to remove the excessive water in your waste. So you need to pour the waste in here and then you roll it. While you are rolling, the water will be dripping and leave your waste intact and nutritious. This waste, when it comes from the source, it is raw. So you need to break it down into fine consistent waste. Whereby when you are rearing a black soldier fly in a commercial way, you need to buy hammer mill. Hammer mill can use electricity or LPG gas or solar depending on where you buy it. Also, on the, uh, you can also get a grinder for those rearing in commercial. For the domestic use, you need to buy a heavy kitchen grinder, which can help you to grind the waste into fine particle uh, for the larvae to thrive through. Another aspect also, when you are storing your waste outside the greenhouse or in your rearing room, you need to consider on our weather patterns. While it's raining, you have to get the polythene bags to cover it to avoid excessive water or to or, or rain water to sweep the nutrients out. This is a chicken manure. When you are sweeping from the pen, make sure that it is moist. By making sure it is moist, you also have to collect the foreign materials like feathers and other particles that are not uh, part of the chicken manure. And also make sure that the water content is uh, purely dissolved and is good for the larvae to thrive through. This market waste uh, contains fruit, fruit peels, uh, con contains unwanted vegetables, and they are in uh, big particles. You also have to chop it into fine particles. For those who are rearing in a commercial way, you use a hammer mill. You pour everything in a hammer mill and then it will grind. And for the domestic use, you use the powerful grinder. It will grind the big particles into fine particles for the larvae to thrive through well without escaping because of the moisture content. It also helps you for sieving. When you are sieving out larvae, it will be very easy for the fine particles to drop while the larvae remains on the top for you uh, while you are harvesting. When you don't have a grinder, you can use machete or a knife to chop them into fine particles of this uh, market waste. That brings us to the end of this episode of Waste Sourcing, Storage and Pre-Processing. The next episode we are going to look at the larvae rearing and feeding. Until then, remember to subscribe.